one usually sees the Kamakoti Tanga Vimanam or the Golden Vimanam from a distance. Up close, it is even more magnificent than one could imagine with all the intricate detail and work that went into its making. While it's impossible to stop looking at this Vimanam, what one is really here to look at are these wire-like things that seem to connect every Gopuram to the Vimanam. This is made of Darbha grass. This grass is so powerful as a super spiritual conductor that it is taken from the Yagashala across each of the Gopurams to the Golden Vimanam and the Garbhagraha and also the various Sannidhis of the various Devatas. <laughs> Our transport partner. Good conductor. Good conductor. Good conductor. Spiritual conductor. Charyal comes to the temple in the evening and he goes through every detail of the renovation and restoration, noticing what has changed and what still needs to be done, and gives the appropriate instructions. It's already the 8th, and tomorrow is the great grand Kumbhavishekam day. Acharyal heads towards the top of the Gayatri Mantapam and there he would give an Anugraha Bhashanam. The workers perform a namaskaram, delighted to have a glimpse of Acharyal and have him say a few words to them. The view all round is truly spectacular from here. Acharyal sits for his Anugraha Bhashanam and then descends to greet the Vaidikas and bless them. No matter how rickety things are, Acharyal can only use one hand. The other hand must always hold the dandam, which must never touch the ground. So it's always a precarious balancing act for him unlike those of us who can use both hands. Cars are all excited and rise. They then continue chanting, understanding that Acharyal has to go over the details of the Kumbhavishekam with the Sthanikas. <laughs> 